Ladies and gentlemen, when I saw this story, this one really angered me. I can't believe what happened to this woman. So this is an Atlanta woman. She sues Popeye's franchise after employees allegedly attacked her for complaining about wrong order. So they screw up her order and then attack her because she said something? Well, what was she supposed to do? Walk out with the wrong order and just say nothing? I don't know too many people that would have done that. She did what most people would do if you give them anything wrong in their order or the entire order is wrong. Wow, an Atlanta woman is suing a popular fast food chain, Popeyes, after she claims three employees assaulted her for informing them they got her order wrong. Wow. According to court documents filed at the Fulton County State Court, Denetra Dawson has named all three restaurant employees. Tanester Evans, this is the restaurant manager, her daughter, Zaria Evans, her niece, Tanise Taylor, and the restaurant's corporate owner as defendants. Wow. So this is uh, family members that worked at the restaurant attacked her because she complained that they gave her the wrong order snatched a, a big chunk of her hair out. Wow. At a press conference Friday, Dawson, along with her attorneys, said she is still attempting to recover from the trauma. I, I bet she is. You know, the hair loss is probably less costly than the trauma she suffered, but you know, the hair will grow back in. It will grow back in, but that trauma will stay with her forever. Wow. So I, I know it had to be a traumatic experience, which has taken a toll on her physical and psychological um, well-being, and I know it did. She said it all unfolded on September 2022 when three employees left the establishment opened her vehicle door and attacked her while she sat at the drive through So she was at 839 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta's Southwest area. She said they repeatedly punched her, ripped out her hair, causing spinal injuries because she wanted them to fix her incorrect order. Right. I mean, isn't that what most people would want. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. She said, I simply went to get food for my kids, Dawson said Friday. Why me? I didn't even think I was going to make it back to my kids. So she was afraid and rightfully so. So one of Dawson's attorney, Maluli Davis, added that she has since been left traumatized and there are a lot of people that are going to need to be held accountable for this. Ms. Dawson went out to simply get a 12 piece box of chicken. And what ends up happening is that they get the order wrong she tries to correct them over the speaker. They're not paying attention. She pulls up to the window. At the window, she's trying to communicate, hey, you got this wrong. They get upset. They call her the B word. They start raising their voices. Well, what other way is she supposed to tell you the order is wrong other than getting your attention to communicate that to you. What other way? Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Can we say ratchet? 
Dawson then said the employee suddenly ran outside and jumped her while inside of her vehicle in the drive through line. Wow, they did all of this, this whole assault on this woman in the drive through line? Oh. The lawsuit states the plaintiff think the employees were upset because she was holding up the line by requesting they fix her order, adding that in some cases, employees at fast food restaurants are penalized if customers are kept waiting in the drive through too long. They decided they were going to fix that problem by attacking Miss Dawson and getting her to move or forcing her to move her car, Davis said. And they're all conveying, you know, converging on her, beating her, punching her, scratching her, and attempting to choke her. Wow. All of this because really the fact that the order was wrong is the employee's fault. It is their fault. Dawson said they only stop assaulting her after pulling out a gun. So she pulled out a gun and they backed off. Wow. She was later taken to a local hospital to be treated for injuries. Meanwhile, the three employees were charged with misdemeanors. Well, it should have been a lot more than misdemeanors because they choked this woman. And just went on a full assault, literally jumped her. And that's a misdemeanor? Wow. I, you know, I would love to know the ages of these people. It does not give it in the story. What were the ages of these three women that attacked her? I would love to know. So I just pray that this, what happened to me, don't happen to no one else, Dawson said, and I get the proper justice and bring some light to my situation so it won't happen to no one else. This is a shame. I feel so bad for this woman. She certainly did not deserve this at all. You know, it, it, it's amazing how we're always getting persecuted for things that should not be a problem. When she said, my order is not right, they should have went above and beyond to make sure they corrected whatever they did wrong. Because no matter what, this still falls back on the employees for not getting that order right. That's the only thing they should have done was accommodate her and make sure the order was corrected. Even if you had to say, you didn't have to assault her in the drive through line. You could have said, can you please park your car and come in and we will fix your order. That's all they had to do if they felt she was in the drive through line for too long. Have her get out of the drive through line and then fix the problem. This is unbelievable. You know, all three of those employees should have been arrested and jailed as far as I'm concerned. You know, calling this a misdemeanor is somebody is not doing their job. These women should not be free to do anything to another person after something like this. <sighs> Boy, I sure pray this woman, you know, just get back to life and get past the trauma. And I know that's hard. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.